Yeah. yeah. Dave Waddingham, uh, Cresswell Workshop, Knox. Who's Yeah, I'll tell you what I know about it. Yeah, um, it was uh, the, the outfit that Mike Carslake uh, competed in. Um, it's he entered a lot of, of uh, events in it, and as as you can see from the side of the the uh, sidecar, he uh, what, on the plaques and various plaques and things, what he uh, he did. Um, it's. It's a machine that uh, last time we was down here, me and uh, in the museum, me and me and Paul, Mike's son, um, we got the outfit going after about approximately four or five hours. Um, it's not been run. I think I'm correct in saying it's not been run for about ten years. Um, there was one or two people kept coming who was at the rally saying it'll never run. You'll never get it, it running. But uh, we was determined that at the end of the day it would run and at the end of the day it did run. Um, Paul and myself had a ride round in it and, uh, and Vinny, Mike's other son, um, and it was one of the most memorable things uh, that I've done today, riding this scooter. And what, what model do you start to ride with? Um, various models um, of the old scooters, the old, uh, an old Model C, a 1950 Model C, uh, which is under restoration at the moment. Um, I run a 1956 Lambretta LD150, um, a Kamita 75cc 1971 Kamita, and uh, quite a few of the later models, the GP200 uh, electronic. They're all favourite machines of mine, being the Lambretta, because Lambretta ne never made a bad machine. <laughs> I think the favourite one to ride, uh, it's very hard, hard to say really, depending wh which event you're going and how far you, you're travelling. I enjoy uh, commuting backwards and forwards to work about 10 miles each day on, on an, the old LD, uh, but it's not really practical for doing three, four hundred miles to a rally. Um, I think then, I have come down here three times on the trot on a 75cc Vega, which took me seven hours continuous driving which is not a nice thing. Um, I think, really, the, the later models, the GPs and the 200 range, have got to be the, the scooter for the long distance uh, rallies and events. Right. Have you always been involved just in that Um Unfortunately, no. Uh, I, uh, I have my own business, and so therefore I have to sometimes work on Vespers. Uh, but I try not to say too much about those. <laughs> what, why is it, why is it I think it's basically uh, the you know the own the own uh, particular person who owns the machine. It's it's whether they you know they either like the Lambretta or like the Vespa. I don't think there's really any uh, there's no malice towards one another or anything. It's just that you have a preference, same as the MG Owners Club. You know why do they like MG sort of thing? You know it, it's just that the Lambretta is the best. <laughs> Uh, have, you, have you been involved in this one with any of the other lines here? I've not, no. Um, I, I had a three-wheeler in my workshop, one of the three-wheeler uh, trucks, a litter patrol truck that was uh, belongs to the museum, which I was uh, started to restore, but uh, due to what's happening to the museum, unfortunately, I won't um, get that finished now. It's to be to be returned. Do you know what machines have already been have already left in the museum? No, no. Um, what about being a sort of original, original to, uh, Not really, no. Um, some machines, I think, are best, depending on, on the condition. If, if they're in a poor state of repair, then you're better off restoring them because it is another machine that, that you're putting back into, into the scene, which will be used. Um, but some, depending on the condition, some machines, I think, personally, uh, are best left alone if they're not in too bad of, a, of condition. You, you can ruin a machine by restoring it in that you're taking away its originality as it comes from the factory. You know, if, if they are restored, then they look, they look great, but some machines are, are just too good to be restored and I think they should be left alone.
you think there's, I mean, there's, there's a growth in nostalgia going back to, to old, old bikes in the 60s or, or, or like scooters in the 60s now in the 90s? Do you think there's this an instance, an insurgence of people coming to, to the scooter scene or another thing in the 60s? Sort of thing, so. I think uh, towards having restored quite a few machines myself, um, people are tending to, you know, restore a lot of the older models now than they were. It used to be some of more of the late models from the, the mid-60s to the end of the production in the early 70s. But people tend, I'm getting inquiries myself now, tend to, to be restoring machines from the 50s. You know, the, the early, the C and the D models, uh, things like that. So I think people are, uh, as they're getting on in, in, in years themselves, are tending to try and go back you know, in time to, to when they when they was uh, in the teens and, and restore the particular mode of transport that they was riding at the time. Okay, thank you.
Take your boss and 